Hi everybody, this is Kevin for Fluid Audio and I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial on our DS stands and the easiest way to assemble them. We've gotten a lot of feedback from people um, saying they love the stands, they work great, <clears throat> but assembling them was a little bit difficult. So I thought it might be prudent to create a video showing kind of the best practices. So there's two stands left and right per, per box. Of course, this is the DS5. We have a DS8 for bigger monitors as well. <clears throat> but I've taken one out and assembled it already. As you can see, um, if you know nothing about the stands, uh, there's several ways you can assemble them. They're not completely adjustable once you um, assemble them. You have to kind of decide before you assemble them what, what configuration you want. So how much angle you want, how tall you want them. Um, so I'll go through a couple of the things to keep in mind um, while you're assembling these and some tricks and tips or whatever. So as you can see, on the bottom I've installed the flat uh, rubber feet and on the top I've put uh, the angle. So there's a trick to that and I'll show you when I assemble one from scratch. Um, however, so this is an assembled one and what I'll do is I'll put this over here and I'll take apart um, or I'll unbox the other one. And what you get, of course, is another MDF part of the stand. You get screws to mount the legs or posts. You get the flat feet, you get the tall angle, you get the short angle, and then these are the short feet, which uh, short post legs, which I'm not using. I'm going to assemble it like the tall, the tall way. So, and of course you get um, a user guide manual assembly dealio. So um, this, this kind of explains everything, but I just wanted to assemble one from scratch just to show you how it's kind of done. Here is a set of MDF parts. And then we're going to take out some tall stands, leave the short stands alone for, for now. Um, as you can see, the logo is on the front. You want the logo on the front side. And depending on how you want the angle to be, um, most people are going to want to have it on. These are DS5, DS8, DS stands for desktop stands. So, um, the assumption is that uh, on a desk, it's going to be slightly lower than where your your ears are. So you want to fire it up. So you want the angle to be up, right? On the posts, you will find, incidentally, these are polypropylene plastic. So they're, they're pretty flexible. And uh, we did that on purpose um, for damping, acoustic damping, but also just for ease of assembly. Um, when you mount the rubber feet on here, there you'll notice the shape is not round. There's a squared off end and that's, we call that keying so that it can only go on one way. So if you are going to assemble this with the angle going up, you want the straight side of the key on the front side towards the logo. So you want it on like that everywhere on every side. And then when you'll notice that this dimension here is a little bit pinched and um, it doesn't seem to go on that easy, but this is flexible. So the easiest way to do is just go, go like this, bend, and then just push it on. And that's kind of the easiest way to do it. We'll take another one, make sure the key is going towards the front side, bend, oops, bend it and push it on, right? 
boom key going the front side we bend bend push on again we oops I don't want to do that quite yet I'm going to do this first I'm going to put the bottom side you'll notice that on the on the top side this is where the screws go in you need the uh, pilot holes on the top side and on the bottom side so I do it like this put this in like bend up bend up boom then you've got that done um, this is a little more challenging just because with this assembled already you have to but you can bend it on Oops, I've got to make sure that the, um, the key is in the right direction, right? So we want all the square side on the right side. Bend. Boom. Same. Bend. Boom. This, the last part's a little more difficult. You'll have to do it with your hand. Bend it, you know, with your hand. Sort of like this, and then slide it on. Boom. And that's basically assembled, all done. Now what we have to do is we have to put screws in to secure it. Um, there's eight screws per stand, so that takes a little time to do. Um, but let's do it real quick and then maybe we can speed up the video. Okay. Now they're all done. They're all screwed together. And the stand is basically complete. Now you have to decide um, what angle you want. As I mentioned, um, the easiest thing to do is to use all flat, um, all level um, feet. And uh, that's easy to do with no angle. I don't have any fingernails, so I'm gonna have to pull these off like this. And what I'm gonna do is just have the bottom side, like this one, uh, make sure it's the bottom, make sure that the key lines up on the, on the rubber. And then I'm gonna have all the bottom rubber parts to be the flat, flat kind. You probably don't need an X-Acto knife to get that off. And if you're doing all, all flat on top and bottom, you probably don't even have to worry about the keying that I mentioned because that indicates the direction which you put them on. So here's the, bo here's the bottom is done. And let's say we make it like, like I made this one, which is gonna be um, angled up looking at the front. So you put the taller one on the front side, <clears throat> like so. Gonna have a lot of these 3M tags left over. So now there's two of the tall ones on the front side. And then we'll put, oh, that's a flat one. We want the short angled for the back side, because that front, tall, back, short will give you <clears throat> the angle you want. And this is only a th three, I believe a three degree angle, which isn't much. So you can do all, all flat, um, giving you no angle, you can, you can do only angle on the top. You got it, I think it's three degrees, but you can do this as well. Tall front, 
short back on the bottom as well and then you get even more angle and that's how you get the six degree but that's basically how we assemble these um, and boom there it goes and how does it look with a monitor on it well Ta da like this. So that's how we assemble the DS stands.